Haven't been to the museum in forever. I think the last time was with Finn and Dad. Those trips are really fun. It's weird to think about now. Oh man, that's great. I love, I mean, he'd love that. <laughs> Gonna tell him now. You're a good one, Spider-Man. See you soon. Tail's great, man. Love that guy. Hey, good to see you. Been telling everyone how you saved Spider-Man. You ready to swing, Spider-Cat? You two look great. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. Finally, the trains are working. Get up to Mom was right. The neighborhood's gorgeous. Catching up on, yikes, kind of a backlog after being away for a few weeks. No rest for the Spider-Man? Nope. Speaking of which, I'm not gonna be swinging behind you constantly looking over your shoulder now that I'm back. I trust you. And I have some stuff I should take care of. Like what? Can I help? I need to find a job. Freelancing with the Bugle was great, but I'd like something steady. Have you thought about teaching? You're pretty good at it. <laughs> Honestly, no. No. Maybe. I'll think about it. Call you soon. Okay. Natural History Museum. Who on the postcard said, based in the park, with the world on our shoulders, we guard the next clue? Hmm. There's a statue of four guys holding a globe at the Central Park entrance. Might be what that clue means.
another postcard under here. Why do you keep changing the suit? This one's of the Empire State Building. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Man. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to celebrate 16. Tour down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn forced me to take you to the museum every weekend? Here's a secret. I love those trips. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now. But I would have never made it to 18 without you. Anytime I'd see you with Finn, I'd feel less guilty. The other sister, her. With Finn and now Genki, we'll always have family in your life. Love you lots, big man. See you at the next one. Wow. I haven't heard his voice in so long. I hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger hunt. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find my note? Yeah. Follow the clue. We just heard that. Did you do all this? Just the setup. Your dad made the clues last year. I know it's been tough since the move. Thought hearing from him could help. It does. Gracias, ma. De nada. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. You can tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. State Building. Let's check the clue. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. Maybe the clue's about the binoculars on the observation platform. Modern Art Museum in Greenwich. I remember that place. Find the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. Hmm. Fifth grade field trip. Empire State. Building. I shall. <laughs> Never agreed to wrangle a bus full of ten-year-old son. Took us three hours to get here, and then we did. Who showed up? The webhead himself, Batman Vulture. As soon as we stepped off the elevator, we had to turn right back around again and evacuate. The thing I remember most, though, you wanted to stay. You told me, Spider-Man needs our help, Dad. You're a born hero, Miles. Don't ever lose that type of spirit. 
See you at the next one. Born hero. I think I learned to be a hero from watching Dad. I miss him. Especially now. the source. All right. Now to track them down. Those billboards could definitely be switched up more often. Just not with the underground's logo. And here's the underground. Hey, I had some notes on your billboard campaign. Got a minute? should be back to normal now. Okay, here's the modern art museum. I'm the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. the museum keep a fossil on the balcony facing the river? Worth a look. King, you'll find great tunes hanging among the lights. I had to practically drag you and Finn to the modern art museum the first time again. What do we care about splats and paintings? But, well, I'm not there. We had to show you kids that there were different ways of looking at you. Sometimes, that is when I saw you two in front of that psychedelic Angela Davis portrait, the babes trained up and all, I knew you got it. 
all that bone to the bone. Don't think you ever realized the world could look that way. But you could look that way. Like royalty. Glad of you making it this far. Let's see how you do it the next time. Finn and I talked about that trip for months afterwards. Mom and Dad really knew how to inspire. Got another app report. Break in. I marked it for you. Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth, integrity, and facts. I've been tough on this new Spider-Man since the disaster on Braithwaite Bridge. For good reason. The kid screwed things up so bad, even the original model would have flushed redder than his costume. The classic one, not that ugly new thing. But today, I must also acknowledge that the city is rallying around this youngster and proclaiming him uh, a hero. Uh, with an unstable energy source on the verge of wiping Harlem off the map, this youthful spider reportedly stepped in and saved or at least that's what his supporters want us to think. The real truth is that none of this would have happened if he hadn't donned a ridiculous suit and started swinging willy-nilly around the city, performing reckless acts of violence. Hero? More like zero? Ha! Jared, open up the lines. I want to hear from those who agree with me. Jared, I said open up the lines. What do you mean they're open? Well, something must be wrong. Folks, we're having technical difficulties. Please stand by. Hi, CLDBs. Let's hunt. Hanging among the lights. Hmm. Belated Merry Christmas, Spider-Man. Maybe it's between the lights and that speaker. Here we go. restaurant. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant lives a monster of a good meal. It's been half my youth at CODB, with your uncle. Every musician we loved played at this crank on stage. Aaron even got up there once himself. Didn't do half bad either. When he finally told me about his night job, this is where he took me to soften the blow. But it poisoned the place for me. Never took you here because of it. I regret that. You'd love it. Just like I did. So, how about this? Find a show you want to see. Anything, my trip. We'll come out here and your old man will show you how I used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Marcus. What the hell is gonna bring me to a show? Man. Need a minute after hearing that.
Someone reported a civilian being attacked near you. That civilian's gonna get seriously hurt if I don't step in. I swear. We've dealt with pick on someone your own. Or, uh, my side. Oh, crap, it's the fighter! They were messing with you. Anyone call the cops? No. This city. Miles, I did it. I figured it out. How to safely split an atom from the comfort of your own home? That's next on my to-do list. No, speed nonagon. Collision model is updated, projectile physics is fixed, frame rate stabilized, it's awesome guy. Which means I can play it? Uh, it still needs textures. Sound effects, music, VO. I'll write the music. I could probably do sound effects too. First we improve and design our own spider suit, now we build a mobile game empire? We're unstoppable. Never doubted it. I'm out doing spider things. But when I get home, I'll set up a task board, start tracking sound effects you'll need, ooh, and sketching out a score. Yeah, woo! Can you feel that? That's me fist bumping you from afar. Later, dude. Bills. Holy ground for dad. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant. Lives a monster of a good meal. Pretty sure I know which monster he means. Next clue must be on Bill the Lobster. Guy is pretty monstrous. Oh my god! Let's get it! Come on, man! 
Lobster bills. Holy ground for dad. This old beneath, sky vessant, lives a monster of a good meal. Pretty sure I know which month. You know this place. The art space on the Upper East Side. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Woo, boy. Lobster bills. Away from home. Always reminded me of the grand kitchen down south. Took your mom here on our first visit. Just the couch every day after that. Even once when she was pregnant with me. And she went into labor right before the I blame the Asian tree. She was less of a fan after that. But I'm not gonna lie, son. Some of those nights were me. Oh yeah. I'm stopping in for some pride in it. Don't tell you me. Mom totally knew he was stopping here. Let him have his secrets. They were a good team. Hey, bro. I read MJ's front pager about some Caria. Not while you were swinging, I hope. Uh, sorry. Scolding mentor mode, downshifting. What did you think of the article? The article was great. The pictures? Eh. Where'd they get this Peter Parker guy? <laughs> I'm sure MJ asks herself that all the time. So how was the trip? Did you have to suit up while you were out there? Nah. Sable handled it like a champ. Her and her wild pack. I mostly got to stand around taking pictures. Sounds like a nice break. As much as a work trip can be. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling refreshed and ready to do some next-level Spider-Man and clean out the gutters in my house. Being a homeowner is glamorous, let me tell you. Sounds like it. I'll let you go. Talk soon. Sounds like there's a weapons deal happening near you. on weapons, Spider-Man style. There's the art space. Okay. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Next clue, oh, CJ Walker Park. I knew this place, up in Harlem. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Not ready for this to be over. 
Middle school graduation. You and Finn joked it felt like a royal coronation when you saw the art space building. Your mom and I were so proud. Our son and our almost daughter graduating at the top of their class. I know it made you sad, both of you, go to different high schools. But Miles, I'll tell you, the friendships you make when you're young, the real ones, those last. You and Finn will find each other again. Maybe a few years down the line, maybe a few decades. One clue left. Bet you can't wait to get to the end. Finn and I did find each other again. It's not the way Dad thought. This is it. CJ Walker Park. Beneath the hoop, where you learn to fly, the journey comes to an end. Man. So many memories. And so we come to the end. C.J. Walker Park. Remember when we played ball here in the summers? Your uncle showed you how to take it to the rack. Well, I demonstrated how to throw it down with authority. Don't think I'll ever forget watching you and Finn trying to alley-oop to your mom. This place reminds me that as crazy as life gets, only one thing really matters. The people you love. You, your mom, Finn, Genki, even your uncle. Keep the folks you care about close to your heart, and you'll never go wrong. Happy birthday, big man. You are my reason for being brave. scavenger hunt. Thank you so much for putting it together. For a little while, it was like he was back. You never left me. I love you. I love you, Ma. serving time. Cut a plea deal, so it shouldn't be more than two years. But getting out early is not why I gave up Krieger. You told me you had to be better. And that meant looking out for other people, even if it cost you something. I don't have a lot of practice. But I'm trying. Thanks, kid, for making me a better man that I can be on my own. Take care out there. when we get a time capsule in this cave? That place still gives me the creeps. Hey, remember those time capsules I told you Finn and I hid? I found them. And, whew, talk about a head trip. Yeah, I bet that'd be intense now. I wanted to bury them in Prospect Park. But it was her idea to put him around the city. <laughs> she always tried to push me out of my comfort zone. What do you think she would have said to you now that you found them? Good job. But I would have found them faster. I like her taking the opportunity to dunk on you. 
<laughs> That's how she'd want it. Number three. Underground's got a permit to change that billboard. Locating the source. All right. Now to track them down. The underground wants more press. Maybe they should try. There they are. <laughs> hey, I had some notes on your billboard campaign. Got a minute? Transmitter. Maybe the underground should try handing out pamphlets next time. of art that has been instrumental in the effort to scale back Roxxon's expansion plans following the revelations that they endangered New Yorkers with their highly unstable energy source, Newfold. Welcome, Councilwoman. Thanks for having me, Mr. Jameson. I have to say, I was surprised when you reached out to my office. My producer, Jared, was insistent that we have you on. Something about needing to broaden our demographics, especially after your recent appearance on another much less popular show. Oh, yeah. Danica Hart was one. My listeners would like to know, how do you plan to bring prosperity to your community? I think I speak for everyone when I say it's an area that has struggled for quite some time. 
true prosperity isn't brought in from outside by huge faceless corporations. It comes from sustained investment in the people that make our community so special. It's true that folks here have struggled, but that's only because they've lacked advocates in City Hall. I will be their voice. And my hope is with that support, the city and the world will see that we're a vibrant area full of brilliant artists, kind people, and now even our very own Spider-Man. About that, you are now a publicly elected official. You are obligated to serve according to a constitution, laws, and time-tested ethical requirements, which I'm sure you respect. How can you reconcile that responsibility with your support of a vigilante who isn't bound by any of the same safeguards? Spider-Man is not our enemy. He's a New Yorker like the rest of us, and he's just trying to do what's right. And if you ask me, he couldn't be doing a better job. That doesn't replace my obligations to my community, nor anyone else's who serves in a public role. But I do sleep easier every night knowing that he's out there, helping us all pick up the slack. I'm happy to spend all day arguing why that sleep could easily become a nightmare. But we're out of time. And your approval polls are very high. So I'll just say thank you, Councilwoman. Jared will be sending you some lovely parting gifts, including my J. Jonah Java, the decaf substitute doctors like mine are insisting they're patients of a certain age drink. If you down it fast, you almost believe it's real coffee. Jameson out.